everyone welcome to our channel knowledge of friends subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update aaj hum log web technologies ki class karne wale hain jo ki class number aapka 15th class hai already humne 14 classes kar liya hai jiske agar hum baat karte hain to unit 1 humne complete kar liya hai and uh, unit 2 uh, complete kar liya hai jisme humne html aur css aur xml uh, complete kiya hai unit 3 uh, jo hai wo hamara uh, scripting and networking hai jo ki hum already complete kar chuke hain unit 4 bhi hum complete kar chuke hain and uh, that what we had cover up in the last class as well that is uh, ejb and J, uh, jdbc एंड uh, हम लोग अब यूनिट फाइव स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं जो कि सावलेट्स एंड जे एस पी है जिसमें भी हम इसको पार्ट्स में ही करेंगे पहले पार्ट में हम सावलेट्स को कम्प्लीट करेंगे तो सेकेंड पार्ट में हम जे एस पी को यू नो पार्ट टू में जे एस पी को कम्प्लीट करेंगे सो so, होपफुली अगर आप हमारे चैनल फर्स्ट टाइम देख रहे हो या अभी तक आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है इट्स अ ह्यूज रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल द व्यूवर्स प्लीज गो थ्रू विद द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल सो दैट मनी एंड मैक्सिमम पीपल कैन गेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन एट वंस एंड इवन दू कैन ऑल्सो enjoy the video as well and you will get all the info related information other than the web technology we had uh, you know or uh, doing uh, the another video that is your reasoning that is a competition wise and we had cover up there as a verbal reasoning uh, non verbal reasoning hum start kar chuke hain so you can go through with that uh, with the play playlist as well you will find out 178 videos of the reasoning there as well so now let's start with the part 1 sublet and the part 2 and the, uh, that is jsp so here we'll discuss uh, in the today's class hopefully uh, i don't know that it will be completed or not not more than 1 uh, hour but of course uh, within 1 hour jitna bhi hota hai we will start with the uh, part 1 uh, that is the sublet part 1 that is sublet so servlet uh, here that servlet overview in the architecture that we will discuss here in the part one servlet here that is uh, in reference towards the servlet you have to know what is servlet and what are the uses of the servlet so that we'll discuss here and the definition of the servlet you can write it down that servlet are the simple java program that runs on the server so that you, that is the definition a uh, simple definition of the servlet i repeat that servlets are simple java program that runs on the server uh, servers the typical uses of the servlets are the first use is that the servlet can process and store the data submitted by the html form the second typical use is that the servlet are useful for providing the dynamic content for example retrieving and updating the database the servlet can be used in the cookies and the session tracking cookies are the small programs which can make use of the information submitted on currently accessed web page similarly the sessions tracking are the useful uh, program that keeps the track of all the previously accessed the web page so this is uh, what uh, we are to talk about uh, that the typical uses of the servlet that uh, we are using and these were the three typical uses uh, that uh, we have to discuss here now after that uh, we have an explain the differences between the applets and the servlet so applet and uh, we have to discuss about it difference between applet and servlet so the uh, difference between the applet and servlet so we'll discuss following a uh, differences here in the reference towards the applet here that applets are the program at the client side and in the uh, talking about the servlet that the servlets are the program at the server side this is a program that is at the server side and this is uh, at the client side here now we'll discuss more about here so here uh, we'll go ahead uh, with the seven uh, second difference with the applet and the servlet so applet the applet can make request to the servlets and uh, the for the servlet yeah, that is the servlets are intended to respond the applet or the html program for the applet one here that applets may have a graphical user interface that is gui and here the, the servlet has no graphical user interface as well in the applet the applet extends the web browser and in the servlet that servlet extend the web servers as well now we'll discuss about the next uh, differences between that is very important you can just write it down if you are making notes and if you are not making notes you can just gone through with that with uh, that what we had discussed about it and what i have tell you about it you have to be very well known about it and uh, you can just make it out uh, the notes that uh, is very useful and if you are writing things uh, while learning so you will be able uh, to remember that uh, those things uh, at a longer time now i uh, will discuss about the difference between the servlets and the cgi this is very 
basic one in here in the terms of it uh, that the servlets uh, there are the four uh, differences here as well uh, that what we had discussed in the above one the applet and the servlets so servlets and the cgi the servlets uh, servlets program are the platform independent and cgi cgi program are the platform dependent in the servlets servlets programs run on the jvm and the cgi the cgi programs run on the separate processes on computer and the servlets servlets are the more secure than cgi and the cgi programs that can be more vulnerable to attack than servlet the servlet uh, in that a performance is better than cgi and the cgi that is a performance is poor than the servlet here so now we'll discuss about the working of the servlet that is very important here and that uh, you have to know very about it and that is working of servlet so in the terms of the working of servlet so we'll uh, make a sort of a, a short a di uh, diagram here this is a client okay this is the first process then have server put it out like when it will goes to the next one that is then of course it will goes to the client again so this is a sort of a diagram uh, which we are de uh, dealing with the working of servlet so here these were the thing this was the client as i told you about it this is the first one it is the client then uske baad http request aata hai http request uske baad uh, then it goes to the second one that is your web server okay fir web server kya karta hai web server jo hai wo find karta hai servlet ko so find the servlet and find karta hai to jab usko servlet mil jata hai this is a servlet that handles the request and response object and that builds and it uh, will uh, go to the web page that it format and this is modified response object and then after that uh, as an http response it will display it on web browser so uh, this is how the servlet works is all so this is a performance that you can uh, this is a working of servlet that you can write it down and even you you can make it out so that you will get to know about it so now in the reference towards this is working uh, when a client makes a request for a some server uh, servlet that he or she actually uses the web browser in which the request is written as a url and uh, the web browser then sends this request to the web server and the web server finds the requested servlet and of course then after that the obtained servlet gather the relevant information in order to satisfy the client's request and builds a web page accordingly and this web page is uh, displayed on a client then the request made by the client that gets satisfied by the servlet so this is all about a uh, working and a simple working if you gone through with that you will be getting to know now i'll discuss about uh, the servlet's architecture in the detail and uh, in the reference towards the architecture in the detail we will be going uh, through with uh, you know uh, the with the program that uh, we are dealing with here so here we'll deal uh, with a program as i told you about so the servlet architecture in the detail so this is a servlet architecture in detail that we'll discuss so we'll go on through with the program here so that consider the servlet program as a given uh, below and this is a program that is uh, has a file name extension as dot java and uh, that is uh, we'll start with import java dot input out that is abstract import java javax dot servlet then import javax dot servlet dot http after that public class first 
saw bullet extends HTTP saw bullet start another curly bracket for the public void main public void to get that is HTTP saw bullet request that is request HTTP servlet response response throws input output exception servlet exception now after that we will start with the curly bracket here that is then of course we have a response dot set dot set content type so here that uh, we will start with the response dot set content type and that is your text slash html and then after that print write it out equals to response dot get writer so after that uh, we will be have an out print out dot print ln that is your html and after that out dot print ln we have to gone through with that here we will go ahead uh, with another one that is your out dot print ln that is head then of course we have out dot print ln that is title my first sublet and we'll close the title one here after that out dot print ln that is body then fill out dot print ln h1 hello how are you the h1 tag close after that for the another one that is your out dot print ln that is h2 that is i am enjoying this servlet application h2 tag close after that we have out dot print ln h3 that is c u later then that is uh, your h3 tag close and then after that out dot print ln body tag close then after that we have out dot print ln that is html tag close then after that both the tag closing we have to up, uh, close that tags and after that uh, we have uh, the explanation about uh, this particular program here that is uh, in this uh, in the above program we have imported uh, the following files as i told you about here that is your import uh, that is import java.io uh, and import javax.servlet and import uh, javax 
servlet http so in that references out of these files java.io packages are useful for taking care of an input output operations and the javax servlet and the javax.servlet.http are http are the important packages that are containing the classes and the interfaces that are required for the operation of servlets as well and the most commonly used interface from the javax.servlet package is the servlet as well in in the javax dot servlet dot http package that is http servlet request and the http servlet response are the two commonly used interfaces that is http servlet request and the http servlet response the http servlet request enables the servlets to read the data from the http request and the http servlet response enables the servlet uh, to write a data to the http response in that we have a given class name that is first servlet which should be derived from the class http servlet here and uh, then uh, we have a defined do get method to which the http request or response are passed as parameter in the regard of it that the commonly used basic exceptions for the servlet are the i input output ex exceptions and the servlet exceptions the mime type is specified uh, as a using a servlet content in the regard of it, several uh, set a uh, content uh, type uh, method uh, that is uh, this method sets a content type for the HTTP response uh, to type, and in this method the text slash HTML that we had used here, and in that uh, that is uh, with uh, regard of it uh, HTML slash that is a text uh, slash HTML that is used uh, the content for the HTTP response to the type and the method that text uh, slash HTML is specified as a MIME type. And this means that the browser should interpret the content as HTML source code. So then an output stream is created using the print writer uh, that is and the get writer method is used for obtaining the output uh, stream and anything written to this set stream is sent to the client as a response. After this, the hence using the object of the output string that is out, uh, we can uh, write uh, the HTML source code that is a print ln method as an HTTP request. Okay. So these were the thing that uh, what uh, we are using all about and uh, now we'll discuss about uh, the interface servlet or the servlet life cycle. So now we'll discuss the possible use of the servlet content, uh, context and a servlet uh, config uh, interface objects as well. In the case of the servlet content uh, here that is uh, this is the interface that enables the servlet to the log event and the access information about the environment so various methods of the interfaces we have that will discuss about the method and the description uh, so here this is for servlet context so the methods we have and the descriptions we have as well the as uh, all the time that I told you about descriptions and you can just write it down so method will discuss here one by one so in the accordance of uh, the method what we have to discuss here in the term of it uh, the first method we have is your that is object get attribute string attribute and uh, name so in this the description you can write it down that the value of the attribute and attribute name in a current session is returned and after that the second method we have is your void set attribute string attribute name object value so the attribute name is passed to be the object uh, value here the next one we have is your string get server info this method returns the information about the server the another we have string log that is a string str and for that write the str to the servlet uh, servlet logs as well the another and the last one we have is just string get mime type this is str string file 
so here in this that uh, it returns the mime type of the file and that what we have to discuss here so these were the method one two three four or five uh, here that uh, we had discussed about it and that is uh, all about about the servlet context uh, here now we'll discuss more on uh, reg regarding of uh, related to the servlet config in the servlet config here that is this interface is used to obtain the initializations parameter and various methods that are used for the, uh, by the interfaces are so here we'll be having a some methods and that will uh, discuss in the detail here that is the another you know uh, in the detail of the descriptions as well So here are uh, some of uh, the method. The first method here that what we have to discuss is your string get servlet name. So here this method is used to obtain the name of the servlet. For the second one we will use uh, here that is your string get init parameter. that is string p and here this uh, method returns the value of the parameter p here the next one we have is your that is enumeration get init parameter names so here this method returns the names of the initializations uh, process now we'll discuss about uh, the another parameters and uh, the another methods that are used in the con uh, servlet config and that is the last uh, one that what we have to discuss here and after that we'll discuss the difference between the generic servlet and us http servlet here so in the record of it uh, we will go on through with that and that is the last one we have is your that is servlet context get servlet context so this method returns the context for the servlet as well so that is what we have to discuss about it now we'll discuss about the difference between the generic servlet and the http servlet and after that we will discuss as uh, life cycles of the servlet that is very important and the characteristics of the servlet and uh, that is uh, we are using here so now we'll discuss about the differences here that is your difference between uh, the generic servlet so we'll go ahead difference between generic servlet and http servlet here so that is in the preference towards it we'll discuss uh, more uh, five or uh, you know this, this differences so that we'll discuss related to the generic uh, servlet and the http servlet so first difference we have is the generic servlet is a direct uh, subclass of the servlet interchange and for the http servlet that is your the http servlet is a subclass of a generic servlet the for the generic servlet we talk about that is generic servlet is a protocol independent and it handles all the types of the protocol like http smtp and ftp and uh, for the http servlet here that is the http servlet is a protocol dependent and it handles only the http protocol here and in the generic uh, servlet that is generic uh, servlet only supports the servlet, uh, service method and uh, for the http servlet the http servlet supports the public wide servlet uh, that is service says do get do post do delete and do put uh, on and so on in the generic servlet here that is generic servlet belongs to the that is javax dot servlet package and for the http that is http servlets belongs to the javax dot servlet dot http package for the generic servlet it is a must uh, you know uh, to use the servlet, uh, services method as it is callback method and for the http that is being services uh, uh, that uh, the services is uh, non abstract it can be replaced by the do get or the do post method here now we discussed about uh, the detail of the life cycles of the servlet here so in the terms of it life cycle will have to uh, go uh, gone through with that uh, in a very detail here that is your life cycle
in the terms of the life cycle here that the sublets are the simple java program that runs on the server as i told you about uh, in the first uh, point of this class and uh, that about the life cycle in the life cycle of the services there are the three important method and these method that you have to be used about the client enters the url in the web page and makes a request at the browser then generates the http request and send it to the web server after that uh, we have uh, that uh, web server maps this request to the corresponding sublet and the sublet basically invokes the init uh, method of the sublet and this method is called only when the sublet is loaded in the memory for the first time and using this method initialization parameter that can be also passed to the sublet in order to confuse uh, uh, configure itself and for that the server can uh, uh, you know invoke uh, the services for the particular http request using the service method and the server that can uh, read uh, the data provided to the http request with the help of the service method in that finally the server uh, unloads uh, you know on the servlet uh, from the memory and using destroy method so that what we'll discuss a sort of a short program uh, you know diagram here So this is a short program here. This is a short diagram that is, uh, you know, showing uh, the the you know life cycles here. This is servlet. This is whole. Uh, we can talk about life cycle of servlet. So in that uh, parameters, we'll discuss about it. So this is uh, what we have to discuss is of web browser. This is request response this is in it that is a service and this is destroy that what we had talked about about it and uh, that uh, is uh, uh, this is a servlet and that is a life cycle of uh, the servlet now we discuss about the characteristics of uh, the uh, this uh, a life cycle that uh, what we have is so characteristics uh, we have here that is in that uh, there are many characteristics so the servlet uh, are the program at uh, the you know that the, the uh, server side and the servlets are intended to respond the applet or the html program and that uh, the third one we have is that the servlet have no graphical user interface the fourth difference is that servlet can be used in the cookies and the session tracking and after that we can say that the fifth uh, characteristic we have is that the servlet can interact uh, uh, with the backend database as well and after that uh, we can say that here that is the difference between the servlet uh, with beans uh, what are the difference between uh, the servlet and beans that we will discuss So difference between the servlet and the beans here the first difference is java bean are simply the classes set get function and where the servlets are entry, uh, inherited from the http servlet and while receiving the http response uh, request of from the client applet or from uh, you know uh, that servlet or the jsp and the java bean are a reusable component uh, where uh, as uh, the servlets are the java program which extend the server's capacity so that is the differences here and now we'll discuss about moreover uh, regarding uh, the handling the http get request and the post request so they are they can ask you list and explain the commonly used method for the http servlet classes so there we will discuss about it and uh, if i'm talking about uh, this that is your http servlet uh, class extend the generic servlets and uh, it is used uh, when uh, developing the sub it's a services that receive the process http request and various method of these classes are used and uh, that we are, we are describing uh, discussing other uh, classes and the description as well so here we'll discuss about the classes and then after that uh, in the detail about the description as well so that uh, what we have to discuss here so the first class if i'm talking about uh, that is your void do get void do get http servlet request queue 
http sublet response so here that the description is that uh, this method performs uh, HTTP get request now for the another one we have to discuss is your void do post that is HTTP servlet request that is REQ HTTP servlet response that is rs so here this method is performed for the http post request now we'll discuss about the another one that is void do put that is http sublet or request that is req http sublet response that is areas so this is this method performs the http put request now for the another one we'll discuss about it like voice service http servlet request req http servlet response r Yes. This method is invoked for the processing the HTTP request and responses. Now we'll discuss about some detail about uh, that uh, we have to discuss is your right uh, the sublet is paid flooding the information of the client and for the client browser, client IP address, client port number, server port number, local port number and the method used by the client for uh, for the submission and the query string named and the value. So for uh, we'll have to uh, write a program for this. So here we'll do a program here that uh, we have to do it and after that uh, we'll go through with that. So here we'll go ahead with import java dot input output dot io exception import java dot input output dot print writer import javax dot servlet dot servlet exception import javax dot servlet dot http dot ht tp servlet now for the import javax dot servlet dot http dot http servlet request import javax dot sublet dot http dot http sublet that is response public class display info extends http servlet then start with the curly bracket and after that we'll continue here after that we will have to write it like protected void do get start under the bracket that is http servlet request request 
then we have http servlet response response then throws servlet exception input output exception curly bracket then print writer out equals to response dot get writer then response dot set content type that is text slash html out dot print that is clients browser plus request dot get header that is user agent now for that out dot print br that is clients ip address class request dot get remote address for the another one that is out dot print we are tag close client port number plus request dot get dot that is uh, your request dot get a uh, remote port then again we will print it out for the out dot print here that is out dot print that is your we are to close server port number plus request dot get server port next for that out dot print that is your tag local port number that is cross request dot get local port then after that out dot print we are to close that is method used by client class request dot get method now for after that out dot print PR tag close query string class request dot get query string then close the curly bracket both so this is uh, how you will get uh, here that is your clients browser mozilla and windows nt to be yoga would that they had shown the cloud ip address like one cloud port number to be yoga on your dinner that is uh, the species port 
uh, that uh, local uh, post number method used by the client that is get or what and the query service so all will be represented as an output that what we had uh, given as an in the form of uh, you know uh, here that uh, we had write it a program for those things so now after that we will discuss about uh, explain the mechanism of the http uh, request and a response uh, in a detail and that has, has been asked in uh, the 10 marks question paper and so for that uh, we have to write it down like uh, there are the http servlet class in which uh, there are some special method which can be used for the handling http request and these method are do delete do get do ahead and do option do post uh, do put and do trace as well for handling the input and the http request make use of the two commonly used method that is such as get and post method and in the http uh, you know that is uh, in uh, the http get uh, request here and that is uh, that is uh, the do get method is used and in the http post request do post request is used here and after that when a user submit his request using do get method then uh, the do post method is used and then the url string does not show the submitted content for example now we'll take it a program here that is the consider the following program in which the html form submits the get request and the servlet handles that request that we have to do it and for that we have to write a java uh, html program here so here we'll have to write it down html program So we'll go on through with that HTML body center then form name equals to form one method equals to get now we'll write it down action that is action equals to HTTP backslash local host backslash 40 40 that is the servlet examples the slash servlet slash my choice servlet then after that be that is your fruit meet that close now we'll take it out another one that is your select name equals to fruit size equals to one okay after that we have an option value so the option value equals to fruit me apple le lete apple then option tag close now for the another one we have an option value apple ke baad mango le lete then mango and option tag close then another one will take it up out uh, option value that is equals to banana that is banana and option tap close then after that option value equals to strawberry then a strawberry option tag close आप कोई भी यू नो फ्रूट्स के नाम ले सकते हैं आप जो जो भी आपको चाहिए सो यू कैन जस्ट राइट इट ऑन दैट एंड यू विल बी गिविंग जस्ट जो जो आप फ्रूट नाम डालोगे आपको उसके हिसाब से आउटपुट मिलेगा जो मैंने डाला है उसके हिसाब से मुझे आउटपुट मिलेगा तो दैट इज द डिफरेंस बट अदरवाइज द थिंग विल बी द सेम एंड यू कैन चेंज द फ्रूट नेम एज वेल इन द रिगार्ड ऑफ फ्रूट आफ्टर दैट वी विल क्लोज दिलेक्ट टैग जो कि हमने ओपन किया था फिर ब्रेक टैग then input type equals to 
submit value equals to submit inform tag close send tag close then of course then after that body tag close HTML tag as well close and after that uh, note that uh, in the HTML program that the action parameters in the form specifies the name of the servlet which is to be invoked and the action is specified as a get and that means the get request is made by the HTML to the servlet as well now we'll uh, go through with the program that is a servlet program that is my choice servlet dot java here we'll go ahead sublet program my choice sublet dot job okay for that we have to write it down and for that uh, we are going to write a java program uh, for this only and as of humne uh, fruits to change liye hain hum uske hisab se karenge agar aapne uh, you know fruits change kiye hain so you can just go through with that as well so here import java dot input output dot abstract import javax dot servlet abstract then import java that is javax dot servlet dot http dot abstract now for that we have public class my choice that is my choice servlet extends http servlet then and the curly bracket public void to get that is http servlet request that is req dot http servlet response arias that is a throws server let exception dot input output exception then after that we'll start with a curly bracket here and then after that string root equals to re dot get parameter that is we have the parameter that is root after that we'll uh, reset it that is res set content type that is text slash html then print writer out equal to rest dot get writer that is out print dot print and then v tag that is done then out dot print ln you have chosen plus root then we will uh, out dot close then close the curly bracket as well now we will uh, this is
the short of program that is the sublet program that is my choice sublet.java so where we will get the following output like you will choose the fruit and you will get the option and you will submit it out and uh, when you will submit it out then uh, then you have choose and go to agar aapne mango ko choose kiya after that we will get uh, to know that ki mango aapne choose kiya after that uh, here that is the how the generic servlet difference from the http servlet as we had discussed about it we will so for uh, we'll discuss a sort of a two three points here and uh, you have to write a program to create a servlet uh, using the http servlet uh, class that displays uh, you know first a uh, hundred prime numbers so for that uh, we will be doing and uh, for that uh, we will be doing in a step wise so that you will be getting out uh, each each and every uh, number here and that what uh, you will get out uh, each and everything uh, in an easy way as well so now we will discuss some of the points related uh, to the diff uh, how or the difference so we will go ahead with difference between generic servlet an http servlet so with uh, regard of it in the generic servlet uh, that is generic servlet defines a generic protocol independent servlet and in the http servlet that is http servlet defines an http protocol specific servlet here for the generic servlet here that is the generic servlet provides a simple version of the life cycles methods in it and a destroy and off the method in the servlet config interface and the for the http request here http servlet extends the generic servlet and hence uh, inherits uh, the properties generic servlet as well now we'll write a program uh, here that i will just write a program uh, that you can just write it down like program to create a servlet using http servlet class that displays first hundred prime numbers ye bahut baar pucha gaya hai aur panch marks ne pucha gaya hai so you can just write it down or if you are have you are making notes and otherwise you can just go on through with that if uh, you are not making notes as well so that uh, here the step one is to create an html page uh, so we'll be create an html page uh, so that uh, we'll be having input prime dot html so we will create that start with that that is your doc type html then we have head head tag close body tag center then form name equals to form 1 method equals to post and then action equals to http slash local host slash examples slash servlets slash server servlets slash prime numbers demo then after that b tag that is enter limit b tag close then after that input type so this is input type input type equals to text name equals to limit and input type equals to submit value equals to enter then body tag close 
and HTML tag as well as close. Now for this step two, we have here that is in the reference towards uh, the prime. Uh, now we'll create a servlet using the HTTP servlet class for displaying uh, the prime numbers. The code of for this as follows: like prime numbers that is demo dot Java. For that, we will be creating it out. That is the step two. Is your prime number demo dot Java? So for that, we will be writing it out as your public class prime number demo extends HTTP servlet start another curly bracket that is public void do post HTTP servlet request that is req uh, that is HTTP servlet response rest that is throws just will do that throws sublet that and that is your throat servlet so the throat uh, servlet uh, that uh, we have a servlet uh, exception that is input out exception as well 
and after that uh, we'll be ending up uh, this is the uh, program that we are doing over for uh, the http that uh, displaying uh, the first uh, 100 uh, that is a uh, prime numbers and for that we'll start with the curly bracket mm -hmm. and that is a string value that is val equals to dot get parameter that is limit res dot set content type that is text slash html that is print writer out equal to res dot get writer int n then uh, we have n equals to integer dot parse int val that is int value and that is uh, for that integer uh, parsed uh, that uh, we had done that is int status equals to one then we have uh, the another one that is your int number int num equals to three then system dot out dot print ln that is first hundred prime number r that is oh we have another one that is your the system dot out dot print ln that is two now for that for int j equals to 2 j is less than equals to math dot squat to square number j plus plus and after that uh, we will be having the another one that is in the reference towards the starter curly bracket that if num percent j equals to equals to 0 start another curly bracket status equals to 0 break start another closing curly bracket if status equals to 0 then out dot print ln num then i plus plus closing curly bracket out dot print ln that is num that is after that i plus plus curly bracket status equals to one num plus plus and that is all the curly bracket will close it out and will be uh, following output that can be obtained in the browser is your enter limit is 100 and then it will be the first 100 prime number that we have will get is 2 3 5 7 11 13 uh, 17 uh, 19 and of course uh, the 23 29 31 37 41 43 47 53 59 uh, 61 67 71 73 79 83 89 97 101 103 107 109 113 127 131 137 139 149 151 157 163 167 173 179 181 191 193 197 199 211 223 227 229 233 239 241 251 257 263 269 271 277 281 283 293 307 311 313 317 331 337 347 349 353 359 367 373 379 383 389 397 401 409 419 421 431 433 439 
So that uh, these were the hundred prime numbers that are shown here. And first of all, it's a huge request to all the viewers uh, that please go through with the subscribe button and please like, share, and subscribe our channel. And it's a huge request here from my side. And first of all, uh, what we had covered up in the unit one that we had uh, covered up that introduction part. And in the introduction part, what we had covered up in introduction, introduction, and web development strategies, history of the web and the internet and protocols governing the web, writing the web projects, connecting to the internet, introduction to the internet services and the tools. Introduction to the clients of a computing code, Java introduction, operator, data type, variables, array, method, and classes, inheritance, package, and interface, and of course, the exception handling, multi threaded programming. Input output Java applet, string handling, event handling, introduction to AWT, AWT controls and layout managers as well. In the unit 2 of that what we had discussed about it, web page designing, that is HTML, list tables, image frames, forms, CSS, document type, definitions, XMLs, DTD, DXML, schemas, object models, presenting and using the XML, using XML processes, DOM, SAG, dynamic HTML here. Now we have discussed about in the unit 3 that is the scripting and networking. In the scripting part that is JavaScript, introduction, document forms, statement functions, object introduction to uh, JAX. And in the networking that is init, addressing init, address, a factory method, instance method, TCP, IP, client socket, URL, URL connection, TCP, IP server socket and telegram. In the unit 4 that is enterprise java bean that is ejb and the jdbc in the ejb we had done preparing a class to be a java bean creating a java bean java bean properties types of beans stateful session beans stateless session beans and the entity beans as well in the jdbc that is your the java database connectivity merging table uh, data from the multiple tables that is your joining manipulating the database with the jdbc prepared statement and the transaction processing stored procedure that what we had cover up now we had start with the unit 5 that is your servlets and the uh, that is java server page servlets maybe how many servlets overview and the architecture per layer interface servlet per layer servlet life cycle per layer handling http get request per layer handling http post request per layer redirecting the request to the other resources uh, Session tracking, cookies, session tracking and HTML uh, server that we'll discuss in the next coming class. And what we had done, uh, we have to done in the Java server page that is your introduction, Java server page uh, overview and of course Java server page examples and plus its object as uh, scripting standard actions and directive custom tag libraries that what we have to cover up in the next coming classes. So first of all, it's a huge request to all the viewers. Please go through with the subscribe button and please like, share and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once. And even though you can also enjoy the video as well and you will be getting all the videos and updated if you are subscribed to the channel. So thanks for subscribing us to the viewers those who are supporting us. Thank you.